Count to three and clap. One, two. It's already synced. Three. Yes, the audio. You what are you talking know. about? Just, you, you just be prepared. Bishop Benjamin Bosley, God bless you, man. God bless you, God bless Glad you. Glad to have you back here on Glad TV. It's been a while. I told you we'd have you back. Are you saved still? Are you I'm, still? I'm, I'm, Were you ever saved? Did we ever establish that? Because you didn't come get baptized. Well, I mean, the pandemic happened. The pandemic happened. So what about it? It stopped me from coming there. It stopped you, know. you from coming. You know, I never stopped services. I told you that. I told you to get in your tub when I went live. I still baptize you from my house on live. When I say dip, you dip. That's that's what I told you to do. You 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 not saved yet, son. But hope, what did you want me to talk tonight? Well, uh, uh, well, first of all, I'm glad to see that you're still healthy and you're still you know good and everything. I'm like saved. I'm all right. You didn't have any health problems. Nothing happened to you during the pandemic. No, nothing really. I mean, I had corona. I got it. Everybody got it. How did it affect you? Because you know now they're talking about, you know, people that have recovered from the coronavirus have like brain fogs. Like you forget stuff. Your memory is a little bad and, you know, you're looking for your keys and they're in your hands. Yeah. No, but I've always had to remedy to that mind fog. The Bible said that the Holy Ghost would bring back to your remembrance whatsoever I've said to you. And as long as the Holy Ghost remind me what Jesus told me, I don't need to be reminded about what none of y'all say. It's about what he said that counts. So the Holy Ghost is, is the remedy to mind fog. Brain fog. Whatever it is, son, is the mind in the brain? That's a great question. That's an easy one, too. Moving on. Um, so, I want to ask you. Okay. We saw that you're now on TikTok. Yes, I am. TikTok has been a much much more blessed congregation than Instagram. Instagram is like very much so um, non-denominational. You know, they don't want to pick a side, heaven or hell. So um, if you can't choose what you want to be, then you might as well, you're going, you're going to hell. Hot or cold, not in the middle, not denomination in the middle. TikTok is more of a, 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 a it picks a side. Well, I mean, it could be the algorithms as well. The what? The algorithm. I don't need no algorithms. The algorithms don't mean nothing to me. I'm anointed. The algorithms can't stop nothing that God wants to flow. I don't care nothing about it. It's math, right? Yeah, well, something like that. Well, you brought it up, son. If you don't know what it is, then don't bring it up. Well, it helps um, uh, videos that you create being... It helps get it sent to the right audience. To the right audience. Yes. The Bible say, how can they hear us if they have a preacher? And how, he can, how can he preach if he's been sent? You're telling me the algorithm is more powerful than the sent power of God? That's why I like TikTok. They send it everywhere I need it to go. If it's one person, algorithm that. If it's one person, one soul. The angels rejoice for one soul. Did I did I leave, lose you somewhere? No, 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 no. You're quiet. You're I, awful quiet. Well, I brought up TikTok because uh -huh. there's a video. It seems that the bishop attended the Oscars. Yeah, what, what are you saying? You were in the front row. You were clean, too. Thank you. What designer did you have on? It was a red suit, if I remember. It was very clean. I don't know. One of my sons in the gospel got it for me. Um, for his appreciation, his old family. Speaking of clean, I mean, you you clean the day. God Look bless you. you. God, cleanliness is not next to, but it is godliness. I'm not sure if it's in the word. I haven't read it, but I know I've heard it preached, and can't nothing go wrong with telling the folk to be clean, and I appreciate the compliment. Well, uh, listen, uh, I say that to say this as a quick diversion of what we were talking about. Uh -huh. We're talking about cleanliness and how you dress. Uh -huh. How do you feel about, you know, these pastors that preach with the ripped jeans and the tight muscle shirts and, you know, etc.? Would you? I would love. I would. I would love to hear what you have to say about that. You think I'm scared to say what I want to say about it? No, Because no, you kind no, of giggled right. a little bit, son. Yeah. Like you're trying to put me on some hot water. Listen, God ain't got no jeans. He ain't got no jeans that's ripped. The Bible say he can mend a broken heart. You can't tell me he can't sew a split or sew a hole in them. What is you showing the skin for? That's what I want to know. Who is we trying to appease here? I think they're trying to, you know, talk to the youth and be more uh, accommodating to what youth 
and young people see. Tell me something. If the young people in the congregation are blind physically, what did they see in your pants? They need to hear the message. Good point. Uh, so if you get up defending why you got on ripped jeans, the person blind anyway. They can't see the jeans. Good point. So what? why bring it up? Good point. So you you are opposed to that. You, you typical suit and tie. But the gospel is appeasement enough. Ain't no need for me. So now next step you want me to, if I want to win a drug dealer or a hooker, you want me to go to the club as if I'm one of them? I get shot fooling around, giving them the gospel instead of drugs. They there for drugs. <laughs> I, you understand what I'm saying? I, I understand. They are there for drugs. And I'm coming there. That's false advertisement. Now, if you could go to jail for false advertisement, I feel something. If you could go to jail for false advertisement in the natural sense. Right. And you got to dumb down your holiness for the gospel right. to give it to somebody to appease what they... You're going to hell. Well, okay, well... Is that clear? It's very clear, and I see you're very passionate about now, it. No, I'm not passionate. I'm telling the truth. Well, let's go back to the Oscars. Well, let's go back to the Oscars. <laughs> you had a good time. I did, until uh, Will Smith lost his mind. I was going to ask you about it. I know that. you was. Everybody talking about it still. How did you feel? I when you saw it. I was shocked. I was shocked. Uh, I was shocked. Uh, uh, but you know, I've seen enough mess in church. I just didn't expect the world to be as bad as us. The Bible said there'd be a great falling away. You can't fall away from something you wasn't at. Now the world then fell away from sins. That's a ter that's a terrible day we living in. Will Smith should be in jail. In jail. In jail. Should lock him up. <laughs> Why you say that? He hit a he hit a man. Physical attack on live television. Last time we saw that was Rodney King. Oh, you young. You don't know nothing no, about no, that. No, 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 no. You make a great point. Uh -huh. You make a great point. Um, do you blame his mental state when it comes to his marriage could have caused well, it? Well, you know, the Bible talk about it's better to be on the rooftop than to be in the house with a cantankerous woman. Look that word up. Cantankerous. That's yeah, 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 yeah. Talk too much. The Bible say I'd rather be on a rooftop. A cantankerous woman is like a drip, drip from a faucet. That's the word of God. Drip, drip. That's extreme. Where's that coming from? Drip, drip. Where's that at? Drip, drip. You tell them the word say that's what a woman that can't shut up. I know I, I got a lot of beloved daughters who love me, but the Bible is right. And somebody, you don't know that song, son. I, I don't, I don't son, know. Son, you ain't say. I'm not. Well, I agree with you. I agree with you. It doesn't matter if you didn't. I agree. <laughs> I agree with you because um, it, the joke, how do you feel about the joke? Was it that bad? Did it warn a slap? No, it wore a boo. Boo! Uh, or not a laugh. Should have just sit there quiet. That would have did more. How so? What do you think, son? It would have done more. Sometimes quietness, the Bible say, a soft answer turneth away wrath. Now for a comedian, if you don't laugh, that's enough. That can ruin their career. Just sit on them. That makes a lot of sense. I think you solved a problem going on in social media. Next subject I'm is... I'm a bishop, son. I can solve anybody's problem. That's what I was called to do. What's the next subject? Pulse. <laughs> Scene two. Let's go. Well, um, I feel like you're a very serious man. Uh, it's okay. Uh, okay. So I want to have a little fun. Let's have a little fun. Is that okay? <laughs> we got it there to get it there. Um, 
I want to ask you something, two things, and I want you to choose one and ask, and, and tell me why. Okay. Um, pizza or flatbread? What is flatbread? Is that like a slice of toast that, that's burnt? What is flatbread? I don't know. Is it like, is that a millennial meal? Wheat or sourdough bread? What is all this bread about? Uh, uh, wheat or uh, uh, butter split? Subway split or Jimmy John's? No, you go home and make your own bologna sandwich. I can't choose none of this, son. What is you? I'm a bishop, son. Sizzlers or Golden Corral? Uh, wow, Sizzlers is out of business. Uh, Sizzlers was where to go. Golden Corral is too nasty. They're not clean in there. Um, and it's just, it's almost like the, the yeah, honestly, Golden Corral is the state of society. You go up in there with the wrong mind, you're going to get ran up on. And all you wanted was some steak and some of them rolls. And you got to fight about five kids to get to it. Golden Corral is like a daycare on steroids. The parents don't give two cents for how their children behave. I go to jail almost every time I go to Golden Corral. My church has since been there. We don't go there. I hop or Denny's? I hop, son. I hop is where it is. I hop is the prices you can get full at I hop, and I hop hire people that make sense. I can witness the I hop and the and the waitress don't get mad. Denny's they full of hell, all of them, all of them. Every waitress at Denny's they don't care nothing about God. You, son. What about I just this your show? You got me here to ask me questions and then ease off and not pay attention, son. I could go pray. There's some more. I, I, this, I this, apologize. Cracker Barrel or Mad Rooster? Uh, Cracker Barrel. Why? Mad Rooster have you wait 15 days to get in. I can't stand a place that everybody loves. See, and then when you get there, it's okay. Now, that's not how heaven gonna be. <laughs> heaven gonna be way better than okay. You better understand that. I it's gonna. I feel that it's gonna be worth the wait. I, I said, touch your neighbor and say, heaven will be worth the wait. I hear you. You don't hear nothing. My God Almighty Jesus. I found out. Yes. Well, what? Mm -hmm. That you played tennis in high school. And college. So many years ago, yes. That's what you had to do back in my school days. You had to play a sport to pass. Were you good? I was good enough to pass. What does that mean? Well, I really don't talk too much about my world before Christ because I'm that's, that, that me is dead. Um, but if I could remember, because it's a lot I don't remember. God really wiped the slate clean. But I remember winning a lot. So you were good? I, well, if you win, would you be good? I'm going to cut that right there. No, no, not the tape. Uh, I'm switching subjects, but I was thinking. Superman or Batman? Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good blooper. That's a good trailer. Um... How long have... Okay. You stop yelling. How long have you been saved? Jesus. My God, about 40 years now. How long were you a sinner? My God, about 60 years. What makes you better than anyone? That sound like that came from the devil. <laughs> I ain't never said I was better than... The Bible say all our righteousness is as filthy rags. And in the Hebrew and the Greek, that was interpreted as the rags you wipe your tail with. That's our righteousness. Doodle rags. <laughs> Dang it! Dang it! <laughs> you made me break! Uh, first of all... First of all, let's stop that one. Scene. Scene three. Bishop, I saw on another YouTube channel um, a famous Bishop, Bishop T.D. Jakes. Uh huh. There was an interview with Bishop T.D. Jakes, and I want to try this interviewing uh, technique with you. I'm going to throw out some subjects, and how 
I want to hear how you would approach them as a sermon. I saw that interview. That wasn't no subject. That wasn't no tactic. That was a game they played. Well, let's play the game. Most bishops don't play games. Will you indulge me this time, Bishop? We'll see. Depend on how... Go ahead. The subject... Hungry. Hungry? What you want me to do? Preach it? Preach. How would you take a word? Hungry. He that hunger and thirst after righteousness shall be filled. You're not getting nothing if you don't want it. Working out. Bodily exercise, profit little. That's in Proverbs. Work your soul out. Through fear and trembling. That's the word. Regret. What would it profit a man to gain the whole world and to lose his soul? Live without regrets and choose Jesus. Because when you do regret, <laughs> you're going to be burning. Forgiveness. As often as your brother or sister <laughs> trespass against thee, forgive them. Do I have to forgive? You're not saved. You asking that question, you're not saved. As Christ forgave your ungodly rebellious on your way to hell, tell before you said yes, Lord. That's in Colossians. I believe Colossians 3. If you be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above. Forgive, because he forgave your dirty trifling tale. He forgave your stupid self before you even asked for God. And you even asked God for forgiveness? He forgave you? Well, I mean, I, I know that. This is glad TV. That don't mean nothing. I'm glad he forgave you. Ain't nobody saved on the Word Network. How am I supposed to just assume <laughs> you saved? Well, this is glad TV. Um, Captain Crunch Cereal. Preach a sermon on it. Well, I... <laughs> <laughs> That's stupid. <laughs> I think you can do it. <laughs> Let's start back. Get your character. Captain Crunch Cereal. How would you preach a sermon on that? I was sinking deep in sin, far across the peaceful shore, very deeply stained within, seeking to rise no more. Then the captain of the sea, not Captain Crunch heard my despairing plea and from the waters he lifted me now safe am I Jesus is my captain you know why Captain Crunch can't walk on the water Jesus he can't do it oh God <laughs> you didn't see what this nigga did <laughs> <laughs> I hope it looks good. It's going, I looked at it. First of all, this. That looks hilarious. <laughs> this thing closed his eyes. It looked up. Well, stop it. it. Let him see it. Oh, my God. I want to see it, too.